Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mick Bailey and I am YouTube's man-child, back once again with another episode of Gingers in a Half Shell, the show where we take a look at some of the most fantastic memorabilia and collectibles from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle franchise. And today we've got an exciting one because it's something that I picked up off of eBay for no more than six pounds. You won't believe it when you see it, when you know the price that I have paid for this item. So let's take a look at it, shall we? It is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles classic collection, Donatello, inspired by the original TMNT animated series from 1988. And looking at the front of this package straight away, the one thing that really gets my attention is it has 34 points of articulation. That is insane. Like, often than not, you'll see maybe six to 12, but 34, absolutely incredible. And as you can see on the back here, you can collect all four of the turtles. Now, I'll let you into a little spoiler. I have picked up three of these so far, and I cannot get Leonardo at a reasonable price. People are selling them on eBay for like 50 pounds. No surprise, no one's buying them because 50 pounds is excessive. But yes, I got this for six pounds. And the only reason I think that people didn't snap it up when I did is uh, some of the corners of the box here are a little bit frayed. But as you know, I like to set these suckers free. Uh, so that doesn't really matter particularly too much to me. This is another product made by the uh, figure franchise that I cannot pronounce. Uh, Giochi Preziosi. I absolutely murdered that, no doubt. But this looks like an awesome figure. And has it got some size on it? It really has. Look at that. Absolutely colossal. Uh, probably a quite similar size to some of the Necker figures that have been hitting the shelves recently. But with 34 points of articulation, that is insane. On the back of the box, it gives you a little bit of information about the Ninja Turtle franchise there. And what I really do like about these is that they do look like the original animated series, uh, whereas the 1988 figures did not, as we know. There's a very good documentary on Netflix called The Toys That Made Us that explains all of this. But it also looks a little bit like a crossover between the movie Turtles and the animated series. So yeah, I mean, I'm very excited to open this one up because it's just, it's such a substantial figure. Like, it's very weighty as well, so we like that. That's very good. So, with no further waiting around, I'm sorry if this upsets any of you mint on card collectors, but I can look at toys in boxes in a toy shop. At home, I like them to be out and in the, uh, in the display units. So, let's see. So, first of all, we have the random piece of paper, as has become a customary with most of these, and ironically, it's, this one seems to be covering many different ranges from the Nickelodeon franchise. So we've got the um, the, the animated series uh, figures. There's the comic book ones as well, which is quite cool. Uh, the movie ones, uh, throw and battle, ninja action figures, flingers, mutations. Um, and then on the other side, I'll show you this side while I have a little look. We've got accessories again, 11-inch uh, figures, interactive talking figures, all sorts there. We're not going to go into this too much because we do want to get down to the meat and potatoes of this figure. So we'll just pop that to one side. And let's see if we can just pop out the bubble here. And everything seems to be nicely secured inside the bubble there. And I don't think there's any tie wraps. So we won't have the inevitable struggle that comes every time I unbox a figure. So we'll just pop this to one side. And as you can see right there, Donatello in all his glory. And that does look like an excellent figure. And straight away I can see what I really, really like about this range is they have a little display stand for popping your figure on in case it doesn't stand up. So let's pop out first. Is this all gonna come out separately? Yep, there we are, brilliant. So there we have the bow staff. It's got the detail of the tape around it as well, which is a nice touch for me. Because normally when you see some of these uh, accessories that come with figures, they tend to just be one color uh, so that's good there, some really intricate detail, which we like, fantastic. Just pop that to one side, and now we'll 
I'll just pop out Dolly and just put him to one side for now and we will take a look at this display stand. So as you can see, a sewer lid there. And what's good is it actually has Donnie's name on it and there's some good sort of like rendering on that as well like just to make it pop a little bit so big fan of that and yeah any of these uh, figures that come with a display stand I'm a big fan of because I, I have had many struggles over the years displaying my Ninja Turtles but look at this figure good lord I mean I can already see all the different points of articulation here because he has movable thumbs and fingers. Everything is really, really thought out well here. Um, I'll get you a little closer look at this in a while as well. But that is some fantastic detailing. Even the top half of the body tilts side to side. Um, it leans forwards and backwards as well. Absolutely fantastic figure. The knees bend, the legs twist. The ankles, the toes, the head, that even, that doesn't just turn side to side. You can even put him on his, uh, you can make him look a little bit curious with a jaunty angle there. I imagine if, if kids were to have these figures, I don't imagine they would last too long with this many points of articulation because once you start playing around with it, they're going to loosen over time, which is always good for... You know, the fact that people like myself tend to sort of collect these for display purposes. On the back of his shell there with his utility belt, there is an area to put the bow staff. And I imagine that rather than having to awkwardly fit the bow into Donnie's fingers, instead you just tighten the grip. Let's see, does that do it? It does feel a little bit tricky to do. It is a bit fiddly, but beggars can't be choosers when you've got this much detail in your figure. I mean, obviously, I am going to more than likely be displaying uh, Donny with his bow in the uh, in the holder. But yeah, that is a little bit tricky to get in his hands. So that is something I'll probably look at very shortly. Um, and it just slides straight through. So, but the detail is absolutely phenomenal, and uh, you can obviously pop the bow staff in the back, which is where I will likely do it because that's just a good posing stance for Donnie, in my opinion. So what I'm going to do now is we will flip this camera around and have a closer look at the tech guy, Donatello. So here's the closer inspection of the Donatello figure from the classic collection range, uh, inspired by the 1988 cartoon. And looking at it straight away, you can see that there is absolutely insane amounts of detail here. The paintwork's good. Uh, the accessories are great. The points of articulation are insane. You can see here in the arms, like you can go from the shoulders to the bicep, to the elbow, to the forearms, the fingers all move. Um, the detail here on the wristbands and the elbow pads, absolutely fantastic. The top half of the torso moves separate from the bottom, which we're a big fan of. There is the classic cartoon utility belt with the D on it, and it shines a little bit where a lot of the figure is matte finish. This has got a little bit more of a gloss to it. And you can see there from the hips they move, the thighs, the knees, the calves, the ankles, and the toes all articulate. Now, some of them do feel a little bit rigid, but you know, I'm, I'm not gonna be too worried about that just because this is purely for display purposes. And here is the bow, like that. A little bit sloppy on the paintwork, but it will be stored in his utility belt on the back of his shell. And here is the stand for the figure. And I really like this, this is a great touch. Having the names on it as well. Uh, I like the dark and light gray rendering, which really makes it pop. Absolutely fantastic little addition there to the figure. And then what we'll do is, is we'll just flip over Donny. Just do a little look from the back here. So bandana there, and it does look like, yeah, there's a little, little bit of plastic there where it's been cut, um, and it does look a bit messy. Uh, and a little bit of paintwork just missing there. Uh, and you can almost see where whoever's painted this has put their thumbprint on it, but that's, I think, I mean, looking at it out of the camera now, you, you can't really even see that, if I'm completely honest. Uh, moving down here, there's the elbow pads and the utility belt, the area there for popping the bow in, and there's all the articulation that could already be seen from the front. And 
and there are the holes for the stand so it will limit you as to what you can do leg wise with Donny seeing as that's where the two pins are for that but in all in all like what a great figure like I can't wait to open the rest of these um, and uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to get hold of Leonardo at a reasonable price at some point so we'll flip around again and uh, we'll just uh, finish with the conclusion so there we have it, Donatello from the classic collection range, inspired by the 1988 cartoon series. And that, to date, out of all these unboxings, has been my favorite figure, because the detail in that is phenomenal, and I expect nothing else, uh, or nothing less even, from the other figures in this range. Uh, I understand they might do a Bebop and Rocksteady as well. A uh, bit undecided if I'm gonna collect those yet, because I am merely in this for the turtles. But that, that is a figure. And that, that would please a child or a YouTube man-child such as myself. Absolutely love that and I cannot wait to unbox the rest of them. Even when he stood on the display stand, there is a lot of room for articulation and I'm going for this sort of, you want a piece of me pose? So, absolutely loving that. What a great figure. So, my name has been Mick Bailey. I am YouTube's man-child. Please share this video to other like-minded Ninja Turtle fans. Most importantly, subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. And please leave a comment below telling me anything you want to about your love for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And if you want, you can even just fire some abuse at me because I'm playing with toys and I'm 36 years old. But quite frankly, I'm happy and I don't care. This has been Gingers in a Half Shell. And we will see you next time for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle unboxing.